my name is Jennifer Weinstein. I'm the Executive Director of the Southern Vermont Art Center, and I'd like to welcome you to the first edition of Artscapes. In this edition of Artscapes, you're going to be learning all about what's going on here at the Yester House, as well as what we're going to be doing in town. At the Yester House, we're going to have holidays on the hill and a cocktail party on the 20th. And in town, at the new library, we're going to be starting a story and craft program for children in grades K through 4. You'll also hear about the annual Winter Members Show. And finally, we will be spotlighting one of our artist members, Cynthia Rosen. We hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, I'm Chester Kaznowski, the Gallery Director at the Southern Vermont Art Center, and I'm announcing our annual Winter Members Exhibition, which is December 6th to January 11th, with an opening on December 6th from 2 to 4, and everyone is invited. The annual Winter Member Show is a companion show to the Summer Member Show, which includes only SVAC artist members. The hours of operation are 10 to 5 Tuesday through Saturday, and 12 to 5 on Sunday. We're closed Mondays. Hi, my name is Anne Marie Weber, and I'm the events coordinator here at the Southern Vermont Art Center. And I'm here to tell you about two new exciting programs that are going to be happening for children for this December. So the first program that we have is a library program at the new Manchester Library in their children's craft room. It's going to take place on the first three Tuesdays of December from 3.30 to 4.30. And it will be a craft and a story for grades kindergarten through four. Our second program is our Holiday on the Hill program that's going to take place here at Southern Mont Arts Center in the Yester House. It will be a blast for children and their parents. They can come and create some holiday decorations and decorate some cookies of their own or an edible Christmas tree. And that will be taking place on December 14th from 2 to 4. If you want any more information about any of these programs, please call me at 367-1302. That's my direct number. Thank you. Please join us on December 20th from 5 to 7 for a winter cocktail party where we'll all be celebrating holiday merriment and cheer here at the Arts Center. For further information, check out our website at svac.org. I'm excited to announce Art Rages, a new program that we'll be launching at the Southern Vermont Arts Center starting in January. Art Rages is a 10-week cross-curricular art enrichment program that will be held during each school's GISP time. Students K-8 through will have the opportunity to use various art forms and materials while they explore the cultures, customs, and history of people throughout the world. And I'm equally excited to tell you that Artrageous will be taught by Stacy Gates, no stranger to art enrichment programming here in the Northshire. For further information and to download a registration form for Artrageous, please visit our website at svac.org. And now Claire Hall is going to tell you all about the exciting opportunities for volunteering here on the Hill. Hello, my name is Claire Hall. I'm the volunteer coordinator at the Southern Vermont Art Center. I'd like to talk to you about the many opportunities we have for volunteering at our center. We have a need for tour guides and gallery assistants in both the Yester House Galleries and Wilson Museum. For those of you who like to work with children, we have needs in our ongoing programs and our special events that happen throughout the year. For those of you who love to work outdoors, we have a need for ongoing help in the summer with our gardens and our botany trail. Other jobs include ushering at our Arkell Pavilion and assisting with our hospitality committee. Won't you please consider volunteering at our wonderful center today? Hi, I'm Cynthia Rosen. I paint plein air in order to capture the essence, the vitality of whatever location I'm in. I usually do two, three, sometimes I'll do four paintings at a time because I can move around and I can think about this one while I'm working on that one. Anyway, today I'm going to basically work on these two scenes. I'm going to sketch them in. They're right next to each other so I can actually go right from one board to another. Um, I want that tree in and 
because it's my painting, it's not intended to be a photograph, I can move whatever I want. In other words, I want this tree here, even though it's way over there. I want this little building in here, that's there. And I'm going to move these bushes over to the right because compositionally, I'd like them that way. There's some light hitting that hill over here. Yeah. Okay, I like the light that's hitting this field here now. So I'm going to get that in just while the light's there. That's the beauty of plein air is things happen. I'm using the palette knife a lot. It's very efficient time-wise. It's a quick and easy way to get paint on your painting quickly. And it gives you a really nice sharp edge. Some of my paintings are entirely palette knife and some of my paintings are entirely brushwork. So you can see some paintings on my website. The ones with more detail, more traditional, have more brushwork. And in all honesty, I always bring both. When I start out the paint, I don't have a preconceived notion as to whether I'm going to go more playful or more traditional. And as you can see, I'm sort of going all across the canvas. Work all around the place. If you want your painting to have a degree of consistency, your best for my kind of painting. You're doing something super realistic, yes, but more representational, you need to keep focus because that every color you add affects another color. There's still a benefit of putting a color here and here and here and moving it across for the sake of cohesion. For this demo, it's more about the playfulness. I will then later on highlight with a lighter tone, the parts of my building I want to highlight. So the lights changed outside and I can pick up some of these other colors that I'm noticing more right now with the change in light. And it gives me some nice shadows. I'm going to do a little bit of inventing what's going on in here for the sake of the movement of color. I'm the artist. I get to have fun. Okay, when do we call it a day? Thank you for watching this first edition of Artscapes. We hope you see us again soon when we come to you with more information about what's going to be going on at the Madeira Studios with classes and camps, as well as what's going on in the Arcal with performances, and of course, all the new openings that we'll be having throughout the year in 2015. We're looking forward to seeing you up here on the hill at Southern Vermont Arts Center.